Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to print out a number. You might be thinking, we've got this far in the series, how we not print out numbers? Not really. We've only been printing out strings. Printing out a number is actually pretty complex. So what we, you know, the default example is printing out the string hello world. And if in the string I replace that with a number like 5, for example, and run it, we print out 5. You might be thinking, end of video, that's it. But that's not actually a number, it's a string or you know, a character, however you want to look at it. Because what if, from some calculation, we get a number, you know, maybe some mathematical calculation, like a, a, an addition operation, we want to print that out. So we get five, uh, for example, like so. Put the comma, Ooh. Okay, so if we run that now, we get nothing, but, if we was to put 53, we get 5. Am I thinking, how is 53 representing 5? So let me show you the ASCII table. I've shown you in a separate video before. So if we go to 48, that's where 0 starts and 53 is 5. So you basically, for every you know number, you have to add 48 to it to get the actual number itself. And that's what we're going to do today in this video is cover creating something along those lines of function to handle all of that. You'd have to repeat that code again and again. And we can you know, reset this because we're not actually going to be using it. So first of all, let's get rid of all of this. And what we are going to do is create a function. The function is going to be called print number if you do not know anything about functions i recommend checking out the basic function video first okay so in here what we are going to do is before we even call that method we're going to move into the esi register the number five then we are going to move actually before that we're going to create a variable section.bsf and we're going to call it var1 red b and so feel free to check out the variables part of the series to learn more about this if it feels unfamiliar. So we are into the var1, we're going to move to the ESI register. So this is basically what we want to print out and we're moving it here so we can access it in our function. And what we are going to do now is say call print number inside of here. What we want to do is we want to move back into the ESI register var1 so var1 and we want to use the add command we and we want to say what's in ESI add 48 to it and then this will replace ESI with that again I've got a separate video covering arithmetic operations feel free to check them out as well so now what we're going to say is move back into var1 the contents of the ESI register and now we basically are just going to print it out you know as we you know was printing out the hello world I could have actually just used that code and modified it to be fair probably would have been easier but I can type it out again so we're going to move into the EIX register 4 so this indicates that we are going to do some sort of you know writing system write then we're going to move into the EBX register one so that you know indicates a standard output into the ECX register we're going to move var1 which is basically the content that we're going to print out and then we want a length as well and honestly I'm just going to use hello length because that's going to be more than big enough but you can as a separate video you know create it dynamically then we're going to do int ath so we're going to call the kernel and then finally remember for all functions you need a return statement run it and there we go we get five that prints out and if we put zero in here it prints at zero so remember these are numbers and not strings if i put nine in here we get nine so that is how you print out a number if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and see if you can figure out what the problem is with the current solution which we're going to be fixing in a separate video but i want to see if you can figure that out if you have any questions or like i said feel free to pop me a message and i will help you as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome assembly video